I'll show you how to fix a black screen on your Samsung Galaxy A03 or the A03s. Now I'm going to give you several solutions to get you up and running right now. You can do everything right from your home. Nothing to do with taking the phone apart. Okay. If you guys try every single step, I'm going to say at least 75, maybe 75% of you guys should have a working screen. All right. So first thing to note is you have a black screen. However, even though you have a black screen, you know that the phone is on. Okay. Now take note that these both are fixed. But even if you have a black screen here, sometimes you can uh, receive uh, phone calls or vibrations. It's just that your phone is, your screen is still black. All right. If you want to know if your phone is on while the screen is black, you can just go ahead and plug it in. So if you plug it in, oh, sorry, let me use a cable that's plugged in. So when you plug it in, I felt it vibrate and you hear that little chime. Okay. Again, I'll do it really quickly. When you plug it in vibrates you hear that chime okay again let's pretend that my uh, screen here is totally black all right so the first thing we want to do is this now if you have a case on here take the case off now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to force a restart simply by using the two key combination okay it's the volume down power button we want to press and hold both buttons and do not let go until we see a samsung logo okay so let's pretend my screen here is black let's go ahead and do the force restart volume down power ready set go press and hold just keep on holding. Don't worry about what's happening to the screen or whatnot. Continue to hold until we see a Samsung logo appear. Now this tip typically takes about around 20 seconds, but you want to hold it at least 40 seconds, okay? Or just until the Samsung logo appears. So I'm still holding, volume down, power. Where's that Samsung logo at? Still holding. Oh, I just felt it vibrate. Samsung logo, there it is, finally. Now go ahead and let go and wait for it to boot back up and hopefully you are no longer in a black screen. Your screen is now working, okay? If you still have a black screen, then we're going to go to option number two. So if you still have a black screen, no problem, okay? So next thing we, I want to do, or what I want you to do is this. You have the power button here. What I want to do is just spam the power button like three times in and out really quickly, okay? Here's the power button here. One, two, three, okay? You don't want to do it too many times. Sometimes if you have the SOS um, turned on, then it will call like emergency hotline if you click like the uh, power button five times. But just do it three times in case if it's loose or jammed. And now after you do that, go ahead again, volume down, power, ready, set, go. Press and hold. Don't worry about timing to my screen. Just continue to hold both buttons until we see a Samsung logo appear. Still holding here. Again, it takes about 20 seconds, but you want to hold it to at least 40 seconds, okay? Just, or until that Samsung logo appears. Samsung logo, there it is. Go ahead and let go and let it boot back up normally. And hopefully your screen is up and running now. If not, we're going to go to the third step. All right, so you still have a black screen, no problem. So this third step, what we're going to do is what I call the tap method. So what I want you to do is just get two fingers, hold the phone like this in your hand. What we want to do is tap kind of hard all over the screen, okay, all over. And the whole premise behind this is sometimes you have like a ribbon that's slightly dislodged and a little tap, believe it or not, can pop it into place, okay? So keep hitting the screen like this with two fingers. And sometimes as you're doing this, I mean, go ahead once in a while, just press on the power button because all of a sudden you might see your screen turn on or you might get half a screen or you might get white lines, but just keep tapping, okay? All over. And also, all over the back, okay? You wanna tap all over on the back and you wanna get all over the camera lens as well, okay? If you don't wanna smudge it up, you can throw like a cloth on there or whatnot and you just wanna tap all over the lens too. All over, then turn the phone over, tap on that power button and see if your screen is now on. If not, then same thing volume down power ready set go press and hold both buttons again volume down power press and hold and continue to hold until we see a samsung logo appear still holding on both buttons here waiting for a samsung logo come on where is it at still holding oh felt it vibrate samsung logo there it is Go ahead and let go, and hopefully you are up and running now. If not, we're going to go to the fourth possible solution. So the next thing I have for you is what I call the massage method, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to hold the phone like this in both hands, and we're going to use our thumb, and we're going to press all over the screen and all over the back. And the same premise with the tapping, okay? You may have a ribbon that's slightly dislodged, okay? If you don't want to smudge up your screen, you can use like a cloth or whatnot. But basically, you want to hold it like this, and you want to do is press kind of hard, okay? press give it like a nice massage all over all over even on the edges and then tap your power button and see if the screen is on if it's not no problem we're going to move over to the back side now now remember press 
press give it a good nice massage sometimes when, when you're pressing too you might hear a little click if you hear a click guys go ahead and pop that power button and see if your screen turns on okay again your screen may turn on it may be totally black you may get like half a screen this way or half a screen this way you might get some white lines or whatnot anyway just press press all over around the camera uh, lens too press press all over press 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 then tap your power button and see if your screen is on. If not, no problem. Same thing. You want to do the force restart. Okay, remember, volume down, power. Ready, set, go. Press and hold both buttons and continue to hold until you see a Samsung logo appear. So I'm still holding on here. Volume down, power button. Still holding. It just turned off. Wait for it to turn back on. Where's that Samsung logo? There it is. Let go and hopefully when this boots back up, your screen is on. You are up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next possible solution. So if your screen is uh, still black, the next thing I have for you is what I call the smack method. What I'm going to do is hold your hand out, your palm out like this, and what we're going to do is smack all over the screen and all over the back. Same premise with the uh, tapping and massage. You may have a ribbon that's slightly dislodged, okay? So we can go ahead and start off on the screen here. You can put a cloth, you don't want to smudge up your screen. What we're going to do is start off on the uh, screen side here. We're going to hold the phone like this, and we're going to give it a couple whacks. Also on the bottom of the screen, okay? Give it a couple whacks there. Now. Tap the power button, see if your screen is on, okay? If not, no problem. Now we're gonna go ahead and smack the back, okay? So get the back. Smack it also on the bottom of the back. Just like that, and then turn your phone back over and tap that power button to see if your screen is on, all right? If it's still black, no problem. From here again, do the forced restart. Volume down, power, press and hold both buttons. Do not let go until you see the Samsung logo appear. Once it boots back up, hopefully you're up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next step. So the last step I have for you here is called the freezer method. So what I want you to do is grab your phone, just like this, naked, no case. Go to your freezer, okay? Put this in your freezer. Leave it there for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, come back and grab your nice cold phone. And as soon as you take it out of your freezer, tap that power button to see if the screen is on, okay? If it's not on, no problem. Do the force restart again. Remember, volume down, power. Press and hold both buttons and do not let go until you see, see, until you see a Samsung logo appear. Now, the thing is, if you guys tried all of these steps and you still have a black screen, then what I recommend is, first of all, if you have a screen protector on here, go ahead and pry that off, okay? And even if you don't have a screen protector, what you wanna do is try every single step at least seven times, okay? If you try every single step at least seven times, I'm gonna say between seven 70 to 75 percent of you guys should now have a working screen so if it worked for you please comment below and comment what method or combination methods you think work for you so others can see as well okay good luck guys